Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. How are you today? All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Today, we're going to go ahead and move forward. In the previous class, we were looking at a uh, section number two. Today, we are going to start section number three, which is called Let's Celebrate. Everybody listen and repeat. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Excellent, excellent. Let's look at the first exercise, which is going to be coming from section number 3.0. In this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. En esta clase aprenderán vocabulario para hablar de celebraciones. So let's take a look at it. What are some common celebrations that we have in El Salvador? What are some common celebrations that we have in El Salvador? For example, Mother's Day. It's a very common celebration in El Salvador. What's another one? Valentine's Day. Okay. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Teacher's Day, Father's Day. What's another day that we celebrate in El Salvador? Another special celebration that you remember. Independence Day. Very good. Independence Day. Excellent. Another one. Independence Day. Day of the planet. Okay. Planet Day. Planet Day. Excellent. Another one. Another one. New Year. Oh, excellent. New Year's. The Buddha Year. Day. I'm sorry? Pupusa Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have Pupusa Day, right? In El Salvador, yeah. Pupusa Day, yeah. In the planets, I remember. Christmas. Christmas, excellent. Christmas, okay. Holidays. Holiday, okay, August holiday, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the video. I would like for us to listen to the video, pay attention, and then we are going to, you're going to ask me the questions related to uh, the topics that you see. Uh, what was the previous vacation that you had? What was the previous vacation that you remember? Have you had any vacations recently? What did you celebrate recently? I celebrate the Teacher's Day. All right, Teacher's Day. Uh, what did you do for Teacher's Day? Mm, I was to <clears throat> eat, eat, uh -huh. eat, eat with the teachers. And they uh, me uh, rosas. Oh, you could say they gave 
me roses. They gave me roses. They gave me roses. Oh, that is so nice. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you, Jenny, for your participation. Uh, somebody else that can remember their last vacation? Anybody else that can remember the last vacation? Nobody, okay. So you don't have vacations? Okay, what about anniversary? When was the last time you had an anniversary? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tuvo un aniversario? Okay. Uh, when was the last time you ate cake? Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day. And what kind of cake did you eat? Uh, chocolate cake. Oh, nice. So good. Chocolate cake. Okay. And uh, when was the last time you played cards? Cuando fue la última vez que jugó naipe? When was the last time you played cards? Nobody? Okay. Uh, when was the last time you went dancing? You went dancing. I went dancing the Thursday. On Thursday, okay. Uh, what kind of music did you dance? I like dance cumbia. Okay, cumbia, salsa, merengue, nice, nice. Uh, when was the last time you watched fireworks? Um, I watched fireworks with my children on um, holiday. Excellent. Do you watch the Pollo Campero fireworks show? Yeah, but that disappointing. <laughs> it, it was a bad experience. Oh, really? Yeah, for because I I think a, a person a, I don't know, the, the fireworks and how can I say and injured? Injured. Injured. Uh, oh yeah. my God. What happened? I don't know. Uh, the man that was working in, in the fireworks have an accident. Yikes. He okay. died. He, he died. died. Oh my died. God. Lord Jesus. Help you want to hear about that? <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, fireworks are dangerous. It's you're playing with fire. Yeah, it's a big risk. Okay, uh, when was the last time you gave somebody flowers, or somebody gave you flowers? When was the last time you gave someone flowers 
or when was the last time you received flowers? I received flowers okay, on Thursday. Oh, nice, nice. Anybody else? Nobody received flowers or gave flowers? I received flowers for the Mother's Day. Mother's Day, okay, all right, nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, watch the video. Everybody, please listen and watch the video. Hi, are you ready to begin? Okay, I want you to follow here? me and repeat the words as they appear. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Anniversary, okay. cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember. All right, all right. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Anniversary. 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 Everybody, everybody. Cake. 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 Cards. 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 Dancing. 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 Cards. Fireworks. 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 Flowers. 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 Fruit punch. Fruit punch. punch. Flowers. Parade. 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 Party. 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 Presents. 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 Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Wedding. 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 All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? What is, what is the meaning of birthday? Birthday. Party. Uh, parade. 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 Ah, parade, parade is marcha. Parade, marcha. For example, uh, I think I think Saturday was the uh, gay parade uh, here in Salvador del Mundo. Uh -huh. Parade. All right, let's listen one more time and repeat. Listen one more time and repeat. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary. Anniversary. Cake, cards. Cake. Dancing. Cards. Fireworks. Dancing. Flowers. Fireworks. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Parade. Parade. Presents. Parade. Roast turkey. Presents. Roast Wedding. turkey. Wedding. Very good. Wedding. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay, so that's the vocabulary uh, right here at the bottom. You're going to go where it says, añade una publicación. And then you're going to go to the top where it says vocabulary. You're going to write vocabulary. And then you're going to put celebration, celebrations, two times. And then you're going to give me at least, at I least listen to the audio program. five examples using this vocabulary. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say, for example, 
dancing. You say, I went dancing with friends at the beach. I went dancing with friends at the beach. Another example. Uh, let me see. Roast turkey. <clears throat> I ate roast turkey on Saturday. Number three. Uh, you could say, for example, fruit punch. I drank fruit punch. <laughs> I led like I drank fruit punch at my friends. My friend's wedding. All right, just like that. You're going to give me five examples. And then when you finish, you're going to say enviar. Enviar. And then you will have the examples over here. Any questions? Any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Okay, let me go ahead and uh, share with you the, the screenshot. And you're going to work in pairs. Any questions at this moment? about this activity. Okay, let me have one example. Somebody give me one example. Somebody give me one example. One sentence. One sentence. Okay, Marlene. I don't know if it is good, but um, on June 2000, no, on June, how do you say 2024? Huh? In June uh, 2024. <laughs> On June 2024, and I'm going to have my wedding. I am going to have my wedding. All right. Yes. Perfect. Perfect example. In June 2024, I am going to have my wedding. Excellent, excellent, good job. Okay, uh, Carolina, I see that you wanted to participate. Mm. I, wa I was playing parts the, on Sunday in the barber shop. Okay, I was playing cards on Sunday at the barber shop. Good job. Good job. I was playing cards on Sunday at the barber shop. Good example. Good example. All right. Another example. My anniversary was on January. 
January okay. 10. My anniversary was in January 10. Okay, perfect, perfect. Another example. Another example. One more example. Um, New Year's Eve, I'm going to eat roast turkey. Uh, repeat, please. On New Year's Eve, I'm going to eat roast turkey. Okay. On New Year's Eve, I am going to eat roast turkey. Excellent. Excellent. Or maybe I like, for example, turkey chicken. Do you like turkey chicken? Yes. Yeah, turkey chicken is delicious. All right, another example. Teacher, I have one. Yeah. Um, the last weekend I received a lot of presents for my birthday. All right. Last weekend, last weekend, last weekend, I received a lot of presents for my birthday last weekend i received a lot of presents for my birthday perfect perfect okay another example somebody i made cake in my birthday i made cake in my birthday very good i make a cake on my birthday, I make a cake on my birthday. Good job. I make a cake on my birthday is okay. All right, guys. Uh, lo demás le va a quedar de tarea. If you didn't finish, that's going to be your homework. Any questions? Questions about this activity? Questions about this activity? All right, I sent you the examples. So you should have the examples. Uh, now for the next activity, I would like for us to continue to section number 3.2. 3.2. By the end of this class, you will understand the use of the relative clauses of time. Relative clauses of time. Uh, what does that mean? What is relative clauses of time? Uh, relative clauses of time is when you say, for example, on the weekend, on Friday, every day. Right, so it basically expresses the time. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. All right, uh, basically that really didn't Marlene, explain please. much. Uh, Marlene, put it on silence, please. 
Okay, guys. So uh, basically, because we want to talk about time. All right. Let's see. Clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we'll okay. talk about the relative pronoun when because we want to talk about time. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, I work out, I work out, do I ejercicios when I feel stressed? ejercicio cuando me siento estresado. When I feel stressed. Right? Or for example, you could say, I meditate. I meditate when I am stressed. Or you can say, I do royal yoga, royal yoga when I am stressed, right? So basically the, the relative clause gives us more information about the main clause as we see in these examples. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this topic? Any questions in regards to this topic? All right, so let's look at part two. Let's look at the next section, part two. Relative clauses Can of everybody time. here? Thanksgiving is a day when North yes. Yes. and South yes. yes. harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is a relative clause of time? A relative clause of time refers to a time, date, or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb be plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date, is is the verb be, a day, noun phrase, when, relative clause of time, people give presents to their loved ones would be the complement. Go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked. All right. So let's look at these examples right here. Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Summer is the season when people go to the beach. December is the month when I am off from school. So what can we say is something that we celebrate in El Salvador? Uh, we can say, for example, El Dia de las Madres es el día 
que más se llenan los restaurantes. <laughs> Mother's Day is the day when restaurants restaurants are, are the fullest. Okay, okay. Very good, right? Día de las Madres es el día cuando los restaurantes se llenan más. Eh, let me have another example. Another example. Eh, Semana Santa es la semana más santa. No, I'm just kidding. Semana Santa es la semana cuando la gente va a la playa. How can I say that in English? Holy Week is the week. ¿Quién puede seguir? Holy Week when, is the week when, when, the people, when people go to, the, go go to, to the, beach. the beach. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Uh, another example. Uh, okay. Vacaciones Agustinas. Es la vacación. ¿Qué más? No, es la vacación cuando la gente. Eh, va a por... las ruedas. Ah, va a las ruedas. Ok, ok. That's nice. Eh, August. Holiday. Is the holiday. When people get on roller coaster rides. Ok. Las vacaciones agustinas es la vacación cuando la gente se sube a las ruedas. All right. Any questions? Any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Somebody? No, teacher. Okay. No questions? No questions. Okay. Now, what I want you to do in this section, well, right now I got to take the attendance. After I take the attendance, we're going to look at the exercise and you're going to write your examples. Bueno, en lo que tomo la asistencia, pueden eh, completar la actividad, which is going to be over here. In the, here in the same section, 3.3, uh, relative time clauses. And you're gonna go over here and you're gonna go to, uh, añade una publicación. And you're gonna go to titulo and you're gonna put relative clauses of time. And here, you're going to give me five, Examples. Any questions? Any questions? Not teacher. Okay. Pueden empezar en lo que tomo asistencia. Cuando diga su nombre, please stay present. Cuando diga su nombre, please stay present. Uy, no eh, let me have Benjamin. Benjamin. Benjamin is absent. 
All right. Brenda. Welcome. Thank you, Brenda. Carmen. Present. Excellent. Edgar. Present, teacher. Good job. Elisa. Present, teacher. Very good. Giselle. Giselle Hernandez. Marie. Torres, absent, okay. Janet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose. Creo que Jose está en el evento, right? Yep, it is in an event. Oh, thank you. Uh, the next one, Karen Bernal. Karen Present Present. All right, present. Uh, let me see, Karen Villanueva. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie. Present. Excellent. Maria. Maria Lopez. Absent. All right. Marlene. Present teacher. Very good. Melissa. Present. Good job. Michelle. Present. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me have Nimrod. Nimrod. Absent. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Oscar Zambrano is absent. Roberto. Roberto. Absent. Sara. Present. Excellent. Selma. Present. Good job. Sylvia. Present. Very good. Wendy. Thank you. Wendy. Absent. Yenny. Present. Thank you. So we got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight people absent. Very good. All right. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Ah, Oscar Sambrano, teacher, ahí puse presente. Okay, Oscar Sambrano. Vamos a ver, Oscar Sambrano. Oscar, ahí está presente. Gracias, Oscar. Alguien más que dijo presente, que no vi el Zoom. Guys, recuerden que yo no estoy viendo el Zoom a la hora de tomar eh, la asistencia. Estoy viendo una spreadsheet. Si usted ve a su compañero que dice presente, por favor, eh, me avisa. Oscar Sembrano está presente. All right. Eh, everybody finish? 
Yes, it's so. Okay, all right. Si no terminó es su tarea. Right now, we are going to look at section number 3.4. 3.4. And it says, instructions. How much do you know about these days and months? Read the statements and complete them by choosing the best information. Instrucciones. ¿Cuánto conoces sobre estos días y meses? Lea las oraciones y complétalas escogiendo la mejor información. All right. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para trabajar en grupos y completar el ejercicio. Any questions? Any questions? No. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the activity. There it is. And we're gone. Five minutes. Five minutes. And then we will check together as a group. Five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, uh, we have to share the screen. Yes. Okay. Puede ver. Yes. I can. Uh, how much do you know about this day of month? Three the sentence and complete them by choosing the best information. New Year's Day is a day when people have parties with family and friends. En la primera. Hola. Ahí está. Ok. Todavía está cargando. Ahí está. Vamos, cuatro. Ahorita lo vamos a ok, entonces en la primera sería las vamos leyendo uh -huh. New Year's Day is a day when people have parties with family and friends sí. y la segunda one is April Fool's Day is a day when people sometimes play tricks on friends. Next, May and June are the months when May June adults choose to get married. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Um, Next, Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. February is the month when Brazilian celebrates Carnival. Rápido, hasta no sobró tiempo. <laughs> sí, así, sí. Pero entonces dice que en el año nuevo, en, en New Jersey Day, is a, is a day way, o sea que las personas hacen fiesta. Pero... A ver, su familia y amigos. En uh -huh. April Fool's Day, is a day when 
Ese día se, se refiere a las vacaciones de Semana Santa. Ese, ese es el Día de, de los Inocentes. Ah, Ajá. el Día de los Inocentes. No más a los amigos. Ok. El número tres. May and John are the most friends. Se casa. Ah, se casa en mayo y en junio. Ajá. En el Valentine's Day. <ríe> Esa verdad es, ya se sobreentiende. <ríe> All right, let me have let me have one volunteer. Number one, number one. One volunteer. Make it easy. All right. I want you to read from the top. New Year's Day is a day when. People have parties with family and friends. Thank you, Marlene. Another volunteer, number two. Me, me. All right. And number two, a people something play trees on friends. Yeah, very good. April Fool's a day when people play tricks. Um, Sometimes play tricks on friends. Like on good, friends. good, good. All right, let me have number three. Number three. Me? Many, many John to get married. Very good. May and June are the months when many young many uh, young, adults, young young yeah yeah young adults young, young adults choose to get married, get married. thank you number four people express their love to someone Excellent. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love for someone. Good job. Number five. Number five. People in many countries honor workers. Very good. Labor Day is a day when people Amen. in many countries Amen. honor Amen. workers. Honor good. Worker. Thank you. Thank you. Number six. February is the month when Brazilians celebrate carnival. Carnival. Excellent. Brazilians celebrate carnival. Nice, nice. All right, at this moment, does anybody have questions about this vocabulary or questions about the meaning of the words or the pronunciation or something like that? Questions, questions? Okay. Let's all go ahead and take a look at develop listening skills. Carnival time, carnival time. Listen, please. Size five, listening. Carnival time. Can everybody hear? Time. Can everybody hear? Part A. Yes, Can everybody hear? I guess. Yes, yes right, okay, okay. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it?
Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. All right, guys, for this activity, I would like for you to share and compare your answers, share and compare your answers, and then we are going to check. Ready? Let's go. Hold on, give me a second. I got to recreate everything. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's do this. Y lo he intentado. Sí, porque si le pone con el otro voladito ¿no? y con un esquitillo parecido a él, no, no, le, no se lo acepta. Pero con el que está después del cero, sí lo, sí lo da. Solo apretarle eso sin presionarle otro. Siempre me sale otra cosa. El, el sin la interrogación me sale. Ah, okay. pues. O copio lo de otro lado y lo pega bien solo ahí. No me funciona. Me salió, fíjense, la puesta, pero siempre me sale mal. A saber.
Mm. Yeah, I love it. Is everybody finished? No, no finished, teacher. I'm trying to compartire ahorita la pantalla. Okay. Sí, lo está compartiendo, compañera. Se quitó. ¿Qué otra cosa estaba compartiendo? <risa> no, ahí sí estaba bien ya con el, dándole el, el, el clic al audio. Ay, Dios. Bueno, intentaré de nuevo. Sí, se mira. No me lo acepta. Ay, Dios, ¿qué le pasa? Quizás si lo abre en otra pestaña donde está ahí. Ajá, oh, voy a intentar. Escucha. Sí. Ahora ya no. Ya no se escucha. Ya no se escucha. No. Ok, permita. Será que apague yo mi micrófono. Ay, hola, sí, ya, ya, sí, sé ya. que no se apaga, está encendido. All right, let me go ahead and uh, take a look at the first one. Who can give me the answer for the first one? What's your answer for number one? Uh, what is a carnival? What is a carnival? Who can tell me what answer you put? It is a party. It's a party. Good, excellent. Uh, number two, how long does it last? How long One does month. it last? One month. Thank uh, you. I don't know, but I don't know. All right, let's listen to it. Let's listen to it. Okay, I gotta go, guys. It's already nine o'clock. All right, we're going to okay. go ahead and move forward tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.